Hey drummers, Kevin from Drummer101.com, and in this video I'm going to give you an overview for reading sheet music for drums. At the top of the page you'll notice we have lines that are running horizontal. This is our music staff, and the music staff is where the music notes are written. All the way to the left of the music staff we have our percussion clef. This is telling us that this music page is for percussion instruments only. Next to that we have our time signature. Our time signature is telling us the length of the measure, and there's a top number and a bottom number. I'm not going to dive too deep into this because I cover this in a later course. Moving on, we have our bar line. Our bar line tells us where one measure ends and another measure begins. When you read sheet music for drums, you'll notice that the music notes vary from top to bottom. Just like when you look at your drum set, the drums range from top to bottom. For instance, you have your bass drum, which is the very bottom drum on the drum set, and that's written on the very bottom of the music staff. Moving on, we have the snare drum, which is more centrally located in the music staff, and that sits about center of your snare drum. Then we have the X at the top of the music staff, and those are our hi-hats. And right below that, we have our rack tom, so it sits right above the snare drum, but not quite as high as the hi-hats. Then we have the floor tom, which isn't as high as the snare drum, but it's not as low as the bass drum either. Moving on, we have the cross stick. The cross stick is a snare drum note with a circle around it, and that's when you play the stick lying on the snare drum, and it gives it that kind of woodblock sound. Then we have the snare drum ghost note. The ghost note is when we have the bracket around the note, and that's telling us that it is a much quieter note than a normal note. Then we have an X that is right below the hi-hats, and that is on the line, and it's telling us that it is a ride cymbal. Then we've got a triangle, and that is our cowbell. When you notice the X at the bottom of the music staff, that's telling you to play your hi-hats, but play the hi-hats with your foot. Moving on, we have a hi-hat with a circle above it. That's telling us that it is an open hi-hats, meaning we are opening our foot on the hi-hats, just to let a little bit sizzle carry through the hi-hats. After that, we have our accent. Our accent symbol shows us that we are playing a note louder than a normal note, the complete opposite of a ghost note. Then we have our rests. The little squiggles on the music page, that is a quarter note rest, and that's telling us to rest for a quarter note's length. Then we have eighth note rest. The eighth note rest is just telling us to rest for an eighth note's length. After that, we have a sixteenth note, and that sixteenth note is just telling us to rest for a sixteenth note length. On the second from bottom line, you'll notice that there are four notes. These four notes are telling us that they are quarter notes, because they are notes that are standing all by themselves. When you have notes that are connected by one beam, that's telling us that this is a group of eighth notes, counted one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then when you have two beams connecting notes, that's telling you that they are sixteenth notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. On the very bottom of the music page, I charted out a basic groove to help you get comfortable reading the sheet music. I'll see you guys later.